Hi, I'm Christy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So today I just wanted to do a sit down video. Um, I recently binged the Devil series by Elizabeth O'Rourke over the weekend and I wanted to chat about them. So I discovered Elizabeth O'Rourke earlier this year and have read quite a few books from her. I read Waking Olivia at the beginning of the year. This is the Hello Lovely box um, special edition cover. This one is a contemporary sports romance kind of with a little bit of a forbidden aspect. The heroine is a track star for her college and the hero is her coach. They're only like a couple years apart but with their college they're not supposed to date so that's the forbidden aspect. And in this one the heroine actually sleep runs so instead of like sleepwalking she runs in her sleep and she'll end up like all over campus um super far away from her place like doesn't know where she's at the hero he at first thinks she's self-sabotaging herself just because she'll show up to meets late she'll show up um like super worn out and he's like why are you running miles and miles before we have meets um so yeah it ends up being their romance and then i also read the parallel series by elizabeth o'rourke um just last month this is a time travel romance series, um, very soulmates vibe level of romances. There's four books in the series. Um, the first two are my favorites, but yeah, this whole series is also on Kindle Unlimited. So yeah, that was my experiences with Elizabeth O'Rourke already. So I came in really expecting a lot from this series and it definitely delivered. Devil series is kind of like a contemporary series and they're all standalones. So you can read them on their own, but you're gonna miss out on some of those like character interactions or the previous couples and making appearances because you meet all the characters um, who each have a book, you meet them in the first book. There's three books so far. Um, all of them you meet in the first book. They're all kind of friends or in one another's lives. And so you do meet them all in book one and you'll see some of them again, like in book two and book three. But otherwise you could definitely read these as standalones. I personally just love reading series in order. Um, and so that's what I did with this. Book one is a deal with the devil. And this one, the hero is British and he's a plastic surgeon to celebrities. Um, and the heroine ends up being his personal assistant for a bit. The heroine did end up getting an advance for her first novel, but she's kind of like having writer's block at the moment. So she is working at a bar when the story starts. And her best friend, he's actually the personal assistant to the hero. Um, but her friend is going to be going out of town, like he's going to be gone for six weeks and needs somebody to fill in for him while him and his partner go and adopt a baby. So he knows the heroine is kind of, you know, needing money down on her luck. So he's like, hey, you should fill in because this guy pays like four grand a week. Um, yeah, and just like promise not to get involved with him. And in this right away, the banter and just the really like sharp writing and the clever wit that Elizabeth O'Rourke puts in her books was definitely apparent in this one. I loved the banter between the hero and heroine um, as soon as they meet. In the beginning, he's definitely more of like a playboy like he's out all hours of the night um, and parties and brings back ladies and she'll have to like kick the women out of his room and things like that but after a bit that definitely does start to tamper down just because you can tell he's really into her um so I really love this one I loved seeing how the hero has kind of never had anybody take care of him in his life and so the heroine definitely does that like she makes sure he gets veggie smoothies every day like she's hooking him up with daily vitamins um just all of those kind of little things of making sure he eats making sure he takes breaks from work or taking vacations um just all these things that nobody has ever done for him before and then at the same time he sees that she has always taken care of people in her life she has a lot going on with her family back home in Kansas and so he you know will take care of her as well and this one is definitely a slow burn um I loved the forced proximity between the couple of just working together she's in his house every day goes on calls with him um when he has to do some of his like plastic surgery things um they take vacations together because she does talk him into taking vacations and then he invites her along because he's like I don't want to go stand in my Starbucks line like I need my personal assistant to do all these things for me and this one just has that slow burn like done right where the sexual attention and they're like sizzling chemistry like you're just on the edge of your seat like waiting for them to get together like that is what this book was and when they do get together it's so good <laughs> so I ended up giving this one five stars and book two is The Devil and the Deep Blue Sea so in this book the heroine is a pop star we actually do meet her in the first book because she is best friends with the heroine um, in that book the heroine she was dating another celebrity like kind of like a rock star um he's in a band kind of guy um but they did break up and so now he actually talked her into trying to try again and he's like hey like let's try to be a couple again and like in fact i want you to come on this vacation with my family like my mom and dad and brother and his girlfriend like we're all going to hawaii and like i want you to come with me so she decides to go and then when she gets there and lands um, at the airport his family tells her like yeah actually he didn't make it like he got arrested in another country like on tour or whatever and, like he won't be here for like at least the first few days <laughs> Oh, and I meant to say about book one, we only get the heroine's POV in book one, but in book two, we actually get dual POV from the hero and the heroine. 
which I loved. So instead of this being like a second chance with her ex-boyfriend, this actually becomes a forbidden taboo romance because she gets together with her ex's brother. So the hero is a doctor. He was currently working in Somalia, so in like very dangerous parts of the world. And his mom has recently gone through chemo, like she has cancer and she wanted this like last trip or a trip while she's feeling well with her two sons. Um, she invites their significant others and like with her husband. So the mom actually ends up surprising the hero because she invites for him who she assumes is his girlfriend, but it actually ends up being somebody he only had like a fling with um, when they were at the hospital camp together. Things are like a little awkward and tense with them because they're not really in a relationship. Um, so yeah, the hero kind of hates the whole time the heroine or kind of that like pop star image that she has. Um, it doesn't really want anything to do with her, but like the more they're around each other, like he's realizing he can't stop looking at her. Like he wants to take care of her. He wants to like know everything about her. And he's kind of seeing this other person than what her like image shows. And yeah, the premise of this book definitely sounds more scandalous and dramatic than it is. But like I promise there's no cheating, like nothing like that because she's not with her ex the time that she's, you know, starting to fall for his brother and the hero, his mom brought his fling, but like they're not in a relationship either. So yeah, it sounds dramatic, but like I promise it's not. <laughs> it's really fun to see the hero and heroine together. Um, since they're on Hawaii, obviously it's a gorgeous backdrop um, for the story to be set. They do like some island hopping as well. They do morning runs together. There's like some surfing lessons. They even go on like some hiking trails and even like some dangerous overnight ones. So yeah, they just have like a lot of close proximity time together. Heroin ended up signing like a music deal when she was super young. Um, when she first got into the industry, she was wanting to, she was writing her own songs and wanted to do, you know, produce all of that. But she ended up signing with a management company and it didn't really read between the lines or it was like young and thinking, you know, this is my chance, like I have to jump on it. And so her management company has kind of taken over her life and definitely taken advantage of her. They're very controlling of her, controlling of how they portray her to the public, which is like nothing how she is. So the heroine actually has asthma and she has multiple asthma attacks and even panic attacks, which kind of blend into one another um, some of the times. And so her management company has kind of portrayed it instead of she has panic attacks and passes out sometimes, they portrayed it as like she's drunk or she's on drugs. And yeah, they've been very controlling about her persona and the way that the public sees her and she's kind of in this spot now where like do I stand up for myself but also they control every single thing of my life like how do I you know get out of this hard place so it does deal with that a little bit as well and I just loved seeing the hero kind of take care of her and try to protect her and help her kind of stand up for herself um and get like in a better place so the first part of the story is when they're in Hawaii, um, like a week into their stay, her ex-boyfriend does end up showing up and tries to like get back together with her. But she's like, yeah, no, like, no, thank you. You kind of take advantage of me as well um, and kind of walk all over me. And so she starts to see like with through the hero's eyes, she starts to see herself um, in a new light as well. And she kind of wants to become like her, you know, true self. So the first part of the book was them set in Hawaii on the family vacation. Um, they do all end up leaving and then it kind of gets back to reality and their real lives. I loved seeing some of the moments of them trying like long distance relationship. Um, we also get the hero like doing some super swoony and sweet moments of showing up when she's on tour in Europe um, and surprising her and bringing her treats that the her like management company is saying like she can't eat. Um, he just does like super sweet things like that. At the end there is like a little bit of a dangerous situation just because of where he's at in the world um, and things like that. But yeah, this one felt like a very mature relationship. Um, and the heroine, she does have some trauma in her past. And I kind of like the character growth and her evolution throughout the book. Um, yeah, and I ended up giving this one four stars. So the third book in the series is The Devil You Know. And this one actually just came out um, the end of June. And I will say, sadly, this book was my least favorite in the series. So in this book, the hero and heroine are lawyers. They work at the same firm together. The hero is somebody we've met in the previous two books. The heroine didn't like the hero as soon as they started working together two years ago when he stole a case from her. And so ever since then, she has not been a fan of him and tries to stay away from him. So at the beginning of the story, they find out that a few of the partners at the firm are retiring and that one spot will be opening up. And so the heroine is definitely trying to get that. 
the heroine has some things that happened in her past and like she's a very much trying to take on this boys club situation at work become the first female partner at the law firm and she definitely takes on cases that you know support women in workplaces who are treated less than and she definitely wants to stand up for herself in her in the firm that she works at as well so when the hero and heroine end up having to share a case together that's when we start to see some of the like sexual tension and chemistry between them and so the heroine is like totally fine just getting it on with him and trying to keep the feelings out of it and it not become a relationship where the hero is kind of more he wants more from her he wants a relationship with her um and so it's kind of him trying to convince her to make it work so in this one i really liked the hero but i had more issues with the heroine um i couldn't really like i don't know enjoy her character so to speak like she was really hard to get behind she's very hot and cold with the hero um she does have some like things that happen in her past which i get of why she is the way she is um she has some things like with her father in the past as well as with a previous relationship that she was in and so all that definitely affect the way that she treats him um she's very not trusting of him so any little thing that you know she could she jumps on it and like is immediately i don't trust you like you're lying you're cheating on me like all these things like she just jumps to the worst conclusions a lot very easily but then on the other hand she has these very like she loves hallmark movies and so she has these very like idyllic fantasies of romance and heroes like sweeping her off of her feet and so i don't know it was just hard to be like okay you're like this with him but you also like have these wild hallmark fantasies that like how are they going to come true i don't know <laughs> so again i get what the heroine was going through um as far as like you know being lied to in the past in a relationship and the issues with her father but at the same time it's like okay this hero is good like just be happy and be with him like i don't want you to keep pushing him away every time you guys sleep together <laughs> but yeah this one ended up being just kind of middle of the road for me and i ended up giving it three stars that is my mini review for the devil series by elizabeth o'rourke um let me know in the comments if you have read this series yet or any of the books or if you plan on picking them up like i did mention they are on kindle unlimited these were really fun um, hate to love contemporary romances with forced proximity um yeah i end up really loving the series like i said the first and the second were definitely my favorite but i will for sure check out the fourth whenever that comes out um i think like next year so thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i'll see you in my next one